Hello friends and welcome back to Geeks Under Grace Plays Banjo-Kazooie. I'm Obi Wakanobi and in this episode we're going into the walrus and what dangers lie in store for us here. Actually nothing. There's a fire in the middle. How a walrus started the fire I will never understand. Let's talk to him. Why hello again Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around. Waz's cave. Yeah, so we can jump up here, and that's where the orange Jinjo is, and we can't get to him. Uh, I think we're full on feathers, actually. Uh, well, let's go for a swim. This water is actually not cold. Believe it or not, if you come in here as Banjo-Kazooie, you can go through this water just like it's normal. I guess the cave insulates it. But our treasure is an empty honeycomb, and we get another piece of honeycomb. Awesome. We have no attack. Uh, let's see if we can grab this uh, without taking a hit. Yes, we made it through. Sweet. So, I think we've done everything we can as a walrus. There's only the two things in this level. There's nothing outside this level, as far as I know. Um, so this is actually the first transformation we've come across that didn't have anything to do outside the level. Um, so, let's go find Mumbo again. Um, where is he? I think he's over by the village. Yes, the shaman is in the village. Let's speed it up. Oh, I guess we're back, huh? Yes, we're back. Okay. So, we're going to go into Waz's cave here. Let's uh, grab our boots and move along. These are very short-lived boots. Oh! Um, Waz's cave should be over here. I think. I have no idea, honestly. I think I grabbed everything over here earlier. Well, this is where we start the race. So we end the race here. No, that's the beginning of the level. Um, where's this cave? I guess it's over there. Okay. Oh no! We have more health, we can tank it. <laughs> Here we go. He's gonna yell at us. Eek! The bear again! Take that noisy orange thing with you and leave poor Waza alone. Fine, I'll take it. What is that in the background? If you will notice, it is an ice key, but there's a barrier here that I can't get through. And... If only there were a way to get through it. Later, viewers. Later. Yeah. Oh! you. This water is not cold. I mean, is cold. Huh. I seem to remember being able to swim through it. My memory... My imagination is posing as a memory. Okay, well, anyway, that's all we needed to do there. Um... Let's go to the Christmas tree. Because that seems like the next logical place to go. Why didn't we go here first? I don't know. Probably because this is actually one of the most difficult spots. But, uh... This box seems like there's something inside that wants to get out. We're the Twinklies, protect us from the Twinkly Munchers. So we hop across to our tree, 
Enough of us get here, we can light the tree for you. I really don't know what voice that was. Ah, I am doing horribly. Man, none of them are getting through. Because this guy... If you have the, the Twinkle Muncher timed just right, it's okay if you lose one every once in a while. If you have it timed just right... You can just run back and forth. Dang it. You usually end up losing one every once in a while. Okay. Only two out of three get through. That's really all you need. There, I actually got all three through that time. Oh, sweet. I think I did it. Wow, I didn't think I was going to do that on my first try. That was awesome. Alright. So now they want to turn on the, uh... You notice that it actually made the on switch show up. Now we need to take out the ice cube here. I've never liked enemies that divide. Because, what's the greatest military tactic? Divide and conquer. Actually, I don't know if that's true. Oh, wow, I'm lower in health than I thought. Alright. Let's collect all the notes first. All the notes. <laughs> and so then what we need to do is actually... The eggs in the water should be a clue that you need to shoot the switch with your eggs. Yippee! Be a star and you'll find your reward. Be a star, get it? It's a pun. You can run over here where there's a flight pad and take to the air. And just like underwater at a Clanker's Cavern, you had to fly through the key three times, you need to fly through the star here three times. So there's one. Sharp turn around. Two. Sharp turn around. And. Three. Come on, make it. <laughs> wow, I had to spend another feather. Alright, we made it. So now let's land. Now let's go inside the tree. You can actually grab the mumbo token here and climb up. How are we doing? Oh, and look, there's termites in the tree. And what is this? We've got another package. So we found a red, blue, and a green one, interestingly enough. Stinking termite. Where's your energy? There you are. I thought there was one more. Okay. Oh, there. I knew it. Eggs aren't very uh, strong weapons. Usually used for solving puzzles. Taking out very specific enemies. But we should be pretty much full on notes. Here we go. We found them all. Oops, don't, don't leave yet. I'm surprised, actually, there were 11 notes there. Or was it 12? I wasn't paying attention. Might have been 12. On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. So yeah, if you had come here earlier, you would have seen the Jiggy here encased in glass, in a glass Christmas tree. And I think they showed in the cutscene the tree breaking. So, let's fall out of the tree <laughs> and land safely on our feet. <laughs> um, we got a couple minutes left in this episode, so what should we do? Um, we can't get the 10th Jiggy yet, because we don't have the ability. 
So let's head out of the level and give the kids their presents, because they were right at the beginning. Arg. That's Waz's cave, so the exit is somewhere else. Yeah, we don't have the ability to race Bozzy. I think that's his name. So we're going to have to wait on that 10th Jiggy. I have to backtrack, believe it or not. This is the first time, I think, in the game that you can't get all 10 Jiggies at once. Um, shoot, where's the exit? It's not that way. It's... Oh my goodness. I'm lost. Since I'm nearing the end of the level, I'm... Oh my gosh. Well... Which way does the scarf point? That way. I should have known. That would have been a much easier way to find the end of the level. Alright. Since we're here, I don't think I used gold feathers even once. Let's go back in the igloo and give the kids their presents. There's one. There's two. And there's three. They match their pants. Yippee! Now we've got all the presents! Here's something for you! And now they're all super happy. It's actually two boys and a girl. It's not necessarily red, blue, and green. The red gift should actually be pink, because you notice she's wearing pink. Um, I don't know how you're supposed to know that that one is a girl, but it is. So, yeah. Buggy's family is much more interesting in the next game. But yeah, let's head on out. And I think that will do it for this episode of Banjo-Kazooie. Let's uh, wait for Boggle to say something. Best note score for this world is 100, yeah. So anyway, that'll do it. No, let's grab the Grunty thing first. Okay, so we can't get the Grunty Jiggy just yet. Again, we need an ability that we don't have yet. So... Uh, that'll do it for this episode of Banjo-Kazooie. My name is Obi-Wan Kenobi. For more geeky content, be sure to check out geeksundergrace.com. And be sure to follow us on all of our social media. Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and all the likes. Um, also, also follow me there. Thanks for watching. Be blessed.